Hi friends, today we're going to make some eggplant parmesan diet version. Hi friends, today we're going to make a diet version of eggplant parmesan. It's not fried and we don't use any breadcrumbs. So, I've got a beautiful eggplant here and we're going to make sure you wash it really, really good and we're gonna get a good sharp knife and we're gonna take off the ends, take off both ends. I love eggplant parmesan when I go out to eat, but um, of course theirs is always fried. <laughs> okay, once you get it all, uh, the both sides done, we are going to slice it this way. This is how the restaurants do it. There's some people out there that do it in the circles, but we like to do it this way. So we're just gonna go ahead and slice it. And then we are going to place it on a pan and we're going to salt it really well. And then we're gonna let it sit for just a few minutes, okay? And when I say a few minutes, I'm talking maybe less than five, okay? And um, the reason that we're going to do that is because eggplant kind of has a bitter liquid. We're going to draw that out real quick. If you don't want to use this last little end, you can discard that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably use it. All right. So I'm gonna place it on a pan here. And then we're gonna salt it and let it sit for three or four minutes. Salt both sides. Except for that one that has the skin, okay? Just flip that over, salt the other side. Just like so. And then just forget about it for a couple of minutes. And then we'll be right back. Okay, while these are sitting, we are going to take four eggs and we are going to separate them because we're only gonna use the egg whites because it's a dot version. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna use the egg whites, but don't waste your yolk. Don't waste it. You can feed it to the dog. You can have it, have it for something. Okay. Put that aside. And to this egg uh, white, we're going to add about four tablespoons of water or so. And you could add a little salt or pepper or garlic powder. Can't go wrong with that. I have an egg separator, but just do it like this usually. Then you have less dishes, huh? Okay, so we're gonna add four tablespoons of water. And then we're just gonna mix it up till it's real good and mixed. And the egg and water are not separated. We are going to dip this in some freshly ground Parmesan cheese. If you do not want to freshly ground your Parmesan cheese like me, you then you can buy this right here. And it is very, very tasty. I really, really like that Parmesan cheese. I can just eat it out of the tub. But... So just whip that up, and by the time we get done with that, these um, eggplants over here that's been in the salt will be ready to rinse, okay? Get it frothy. See how mixed that is? You want it mixed good. You can use a mixer or you can use a little whisk or whatever, I'm just using a fork. Okay, I'm gonna rinse these eggplants now and then I'll be right back. 
Okay, we got our uh, eggplant rinsed, and now we're going to bread it in our Parmesan. So we've got um, our egg here. We're just gonna dip that in there really good. Make sure it all gets in there. And then we're going to press this cheese. And since this is the end piece, I'm just gonna do it on the one side. And we're going to put it on our, put a whole bunch on there. It, it makes it good, okay? And we're gonna put it on our parchment paper, uh, our pan with our parchment paper on, it just makes it easier to clean. Okay, and we're gonna do all of them now. We're gonna make sure we uh, put Parmesan on both sides of this one, okay? Just like that. I love Parmesan cheese. I love Italian food, really, and it's just not very dot friendly, is it? Okay, so we got a good amount on that side. Let's turn it. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more on this side. And I've got my oven on, um, I think it's easier to do it without a fork. I'm gonna uh, put my oven on 400, and we're going to bake these for about 10 minutes and then we're going to flip them over and bake them again for about 10 minutes or until uh, however your oven is uh, until your um eggplant is uh brown and crunchy okay so and you can do more than one eggplant if you're it's gonna we're gonna layer it kind of like a lasagna that's another end piece so I don't have to do the other side. I love eggplant parmesan. It's one of my favorite things to order when we're out. But, like I said, it's not the dot version. We're trying to be good. So, we're still having good things, but in a little skinnier version. Okay, two more pieces. And then we're going to sprinkle, um, I like garlic and, and pepper. I, we're big pepper people. So um, I'm going to sprinkle some um, pepper and some garlic on top of these. I've got one more and we're gonna to have to make it fit right here. Now make sure you save. I saved some of my Parmesan, so when we layer it, I'll still have some Parmesan, okay? And then I've also got mozzarella. And then I went and tried to find the least amount of carb um, marinara sauces I had. Okay, so I got just a tiny bit of mozzarella, uh, Parmesan, just a few shreds in here, so I'm just gonna put them on one of them. And we're gonna slide that in the oven for 10 minutes on 400, come back, turn it over for another 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be right back after it's toasted. I forgot, I was gonna sprinkle this garlic pepper. Now I get this wonderful, wonderful garlic pepper at Dollar Tree, and I love it. I, I, I just went and bought a whole bunch of them because I just dearly, dearly love it. It's just, it's just garlic powder and pepper. We'll just sprinkle on each one, just a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay, I got my um, eggplant out and it's got it's brown on both sides. Let me show you. It's it's really hot, but it's just it's just kind of brown on each side. Okay, and now we're gonna start layering it. And this is the kind of sauce that I found at my store and um, it's lower carb than some, okay? It's not the lowest. They had one that was, I think about five or $6. I wasn't gonna pay that. So this one I think was uh, about two, three dollars, but um, it was just a couple of carbs more. So we're gonna put a little bit in the bottom of our, of our dish here and spread it around. You wanna do this so it won't stick, okay? And then we're gonna take our um, Parmesan and we're gonna start layering it. 
Okay, and it's hot. So let's put it put it down in here. Isn't that pretty? The other side's real pretty. It's gonna be good, y'all. Real good. And I probably can get one more of this skinny one in here and do it this way. Okay, and now I've got some, um, we're going to put some more marinara sauce on there. Spread it on there evenly. I don't want it to be dry, so if it puts you a good couple of spoons on there. You can make your own if you want to. We have made our own, and it's good, and it's not hard, but not today. All right, now I'm going to have um, some mozzarella cheese, and we're going to sprinkle that on here. And then a little parmesan. Then we're going to do our last layer. Now on the uh, last layer, I'm not going to put the cheese on top until the very end. I'm going to let it bake for about 20, 25 minutes. And uh, kind of depending on your oven, I'm probably going to go more closer to 20 minutes. Just so on this layer, I'm just on this top layer, however many layers you're gonna make on your top layer, just put some sauce on there, okay? And then we're gonna come back about that last five or so minutes and we'll put our um, top, top cheese on there. It smells already so good. Okay. Spread it around. If you want to use the whole jar, I think I will. Because there was just a tiny bit left. And just stick it in a 375 oven for about 20 minutes, okay? All right, we'll be back. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it out. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. Bubbling in my soul. Did y'all ever sing that when y'all was a little girl or little kids? <laughs> it's bubbling. It's bubbling. It's bubbling in my soul. All right. And we're going to go ahead and top it. I'm going to put some more uh, Parmesan cheese on here and some more mozzarella. And then we're going to stick it back in there. Um... Just for a couple of minutes until it gets uh, all good and melted. And then it's gonna be ready. Okay, back in we go. I like to put it everywhere. The cheese is melted and it looks divine. Let me give y'all a good show of it. Doesn't that look good? Y'all, Parmesan or eggplant Parmesan is delicious. Y'all need to try it. It is so, so good and it's keto friendly and it's, it's, it's a good diet food. Just, uh, Make it like this. Don't fry the eggplant. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed cooking with me today. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And we will see you next time. Bye. Keep looking to the east. <laughs>